Hello YouTube viewers, this is Heliarch here. Today I'm gonna review this uh, new weapons that is introduced in Robocraft. Nanotech. Actually it is Nano Destructor. You can unlock them at tier 6. You cannot unlock them before it unless you pay for it. In which case you can use Uber Tech Points to unlock them. They start at tier 6. You do have to unlock everything before it uh, in order to access it. So tier 6 stars are necessary for it. They cost uh, surprisingly a lot. So be careful do you actually need it or not. Nine like it's almost 10,000 for um, tier 6. This is the first tier you uh, can access it. CPU power is 24. Robot rankings average armor is 5,000. That is pretty decent. But here's the funny thing. It damage rate is not impact base it's um, per second so as you can see in smgs the damage rate is uh, mentioned per um, unit it fires like per bullet that it fires plasma has area damage so uh, so it also has blast radius that's why its uh, damage is so low and rail can of course is a sniper so per uh, round it fires if it hits the pilot seat it can kill the vehicle in one shot so that's why like if you uh, hit someone and uh, you have very high tier rail cannon and the guy did not die most likely you miss the pilot seat if it's a very big vehicle this happens too often you shoot something you can tear uh, half of his section off but uh, he survived because of the pilot seat so be careful where you aim and this gun, gun has um, two ways of aiming is uh, one is you manually aim it is very surprisingly small um, what do you say range and it automatically aims. There is no zoom for it. Like uh, same way you can zoom for plasma, SMGs, and especially rail cannon. You cannot zoom in this. So if you just put two of these, you will directly come to tier four. So otherwise, you have to remove every of these electro plates, high level blocks to make sure that you can uh, stay at tier four if you add another mother. But let's see the practice now. How it actually works. Beware, these guns are independent. You cannot use them with something else. They are independent. Same as like you can't put SMGs with rail cannon. You can't do with this also. I'm not using anything else. Not radar or anything. Because they keep increasing my tears. Come on. Okay, I spotted one. See, I am aiming somewhere else, but it's automatically hitting. That's semi-automatic. It automatically aims at pilot seat, nothing else. It will always aim at pilot seat. If you want to destroy someone's um, frontal block or anything else, it won't work like that. So it always aims at uh, pilot seat. So it's a good des good choice if uh, somebody has a really bad design and if it's in like the back of the vehicle, which happened too often for me. So. Yep. And this is your manual aiming. And don't worry, you can keep there is no you can keep like this forever. There is no reloading time for this or firing rate. It's it's a beam weapon and it's always firing. And it the moment it hits something, it will convert. So if you are bad at aiming, this might be the gun for you, like I am. But remember, this is very weak guns. They are very weak guns. Their armor value is strong enough, but they are very weak. In tournaments, they don't last that, that long. So be careful how you use them. You have to use a lot of them. Yeah, come on, shoot it. Shoot it, bitch. Die, bitch. The range is the biggest problem in this gun, and not to mention firing it. But I am hoping that uh, yeah. see it automatically aiming where the pilot is. Okay. You can use the automatic mode to discover where the pilot seat is, and then concentrate your fire on the 
or if you are fighting against someone who has very strong armors and have real cannon on extensions you can aim there manually but it is very unlikely that it's gonna allow you to do that let's see i want to destroy the central part here okay. yeah i did you can do that thankfully you can't heal yourself So this is the review of uh, Nano Destructor. Heal allies, damages enemy. So the radius this weapon uses is very big, so you can't put a lot of them. As you can see. Let's see from top view. Let's show you from top view. See the radius ring, it's very huge. So you have to be careful about it. So thank you guys. This was my review of uh, Nano Disruptor tier 6 weapons. This is a new edition, it was added on 8 October. So most likely uh, by the time you are watching this video, it still should be a pretty new concept. So I think this should have helped you. Thank you and subscribe.